Hi everyone, I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. In this present video, I would like to discuss the topic method of variation of parameters to solve the second order differential equation with constant coefficients. So in our syllabus, differential equations in vector calculus, it comes under the module number 2. The topic is method of variation of parameters. Now what is the second order differential equation? An equation is of the form d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y is equal to r of x. Where p, q are constants and r of x is a function of x is called a second order linear differential equation with the constant coefficients. Because p, q are constants, so the coefficients are all constants. So the equation is said to be second order differential equation with constant coefficients. And here the right hand side function r of x is a function of x. It will be the any function of x. Now to solve this equation we have several methods. Generally by finding the complementary function and particular integral we find the solution and particular integral can be evaluated by using the general method and we have the different shortcut methods based on right hand side function r of x and here we are our interest is to solve this equation by applying the method of variation of parameters. So what are the steps involved in this method? So it is a step by step procedure or here I am giving the working rule. First uh, reduce the given equation into standard form. Suppose if the given equation is not in standard form that is d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus q into y is equal to r of x. So this is called standard form. Suppose if the given equation is not in standard form, first reduce the given equation to this form. This is called standard form. So after reducing this equation, consider the right hand side expression d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus qy is equal to 0 and equate to 0. Consider the left hand side expression and equate to 0 and this is in the form f of d into y is equal to 0. Now write the solution of this equation by finding the roots of the equation. So what is f of d here? f of d is operator form d square plus p d plus q is f of d. It is a second order equation, quadratic expression. On solving this equation, we will get two roots. Let it is u of x and v of x. Then the complementary of function of the original problem is denoted by c of or y c is equal to c1 u of x plus c2 into v of x that already here I have mentioned yc is equal to c1 u of x plus c2 v of x where u of x v of x are the solutions of uh, this equation. Uh, the, the equation suppose if the roots are m1 m2 and based on the roots we write u of x and v of x. So c1 u of x plus c2 v of x is the complementary function of the given problem. So how to find? Suppose if m1, m2 are the roots of the equation and roots are distinct roots then yc is equal to c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x. Already we have saw, saw this models how to write the solution based on the roots of the equation. Suppose if the roots are equal m1, m2 are equal then we write c1 plus c2x into e power mx. When the roots are complex roots, then we write it as a c1 cos x cos ax or suppose the roots are plus or minus ia. Then the solution is c1 cos ax plus c2 of sin ax. So in this way we write the complementary function for the given problem. And this is in the form c1 u of x plus c2 v of x. In this case u of x is e power m1x and v of x is e power m2x. That is the second. Already we 
So, in the various uh, problems when finding the complementary function, so normally uh, we use this notation c1 u of x plus c2 u of x. Then take the particular integral yp is equal to a into u of x plus b into v of x, where a and b are functions of x and which are determined by the formula a is equal to minus integral v r dx by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. That is the formula to find a value. Similarly, b can be evaluated or b can be determined by the formula integral u r dx by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. So, a or you know the right hand side function, v is the second part of the complementary function, function v of x and u of x you know that. So, u, v are all are known things, then you can find a and b are using these formulas. I will write the formula a is equal to minus integral v r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. In both formulas, denominator is same. Denominator is same u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. So, on using these formulas, we will find the a and b. Then yp is equal to u replace a and u of x as it is plus b into v of x. So, this is the second part of the solution yp. Already we have calculated the first part as yc. yc already we have calculated and yp also can be done by using the formulas a and b. Then the general solution will be y is equal to yc plus yp. The complementary function plus particular integral is the general solution of the given problem. So, the complementary function is c1 u of x plus c2 v of x, particular integral a into u of x plus b into v of x. So, it is the procedure to apply the method of variation of parameters. As usually, we write the complementary function. Thereafter, you write the particular integral by assuming the particular integral yp is equal to a into u of x plus b into v of x, then a and b can be evaluated by using the two formulas. This is the method of approach to find the solution of the given second order problem by using method of variation of parameters. Now, we see one example. Apply the method of variation of parameters to solve d square y by dx square plus y is equal to quesicant x. What is the standard form? The standard form is d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y is equal to r of x. This is the standard form as per our procedure. So, clearly it is in the standard form d square y by dx square. There is no term of dy by dx that means p0 and q is equal to 1 and the right hand side function r of x is equal to r of x is equal to cosecant x. So, first write the given equation in operator form and find the complementary function as usual. The given equation in operator form d square what is d means d by dx the general notation and d square is d square by dx square. So, what I can write it as d square y plus y is equal to cosecant x. So, what is f of d here? f of d is d square plus 1. f of d into y is equal to q of x. So, what is f of m? m square plus 1. So, the auxiliary equation will be m square plus 1 is equal to 0 or m square is equal to minus 1 or m is equal to plus or minus i. Minus 1 means what? i square. Minus 1 means i square. i square on finding the root of i square that is will be the plus r minus i. So, the roots are complex roots as per our complementary function to calculate y c is equal to c 1 into u of x that is cos a x means a is 1 here plus c 2 sin x that is the complementary function or y c 
on the given problem and call this as equation number 1. So here what is this cos of x? We are assuming u of x is equal to cos of x. And what is v of x? v of x is equal to sin x. u of x is cos x and v of x is equal to sin x. Now take yp as a into u of x plus b into v of x. In this method we just replace a and b in place of c1 and c2 in yc. What is yc here? yc is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x. In this method we just replace c1 and c2 by a and b. That will be the particular integral as per, as per this method. So just method of variation of parameters. So we have to change the parameters c1 and c2 and we have to write the new parameters a and b. So here u of x is cos x, v of x is sin x and r of x is and r of x is equal to cosecant x. Now I find the denominator value u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. That is u is cos x, v sin x dv by dx is again cos x minus v means sin x into du by dx cos x derivative minus sin x or that is cos square x plus sin square x that is equal to 1. Then what are the values of a and v? a is equal to minus integral v r dx by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. And b is equal to integral u r by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. So using this formula here u is a is equal to minus integral. What is v here? Sin x r means cosecant x by the denominator value 1 of dx. That is what sin x into cosecant x that is 1 of dx that is equal to minus x. This is a value a is equal to minus x. Now to find b value integral u, u means what cos x into r, r means cosecant x by the denominator 1 of dx, r is 1, r is not, not r, r is cosecant x and the denominator is 1 of dx, cos x into cosecant x, that means what cos x by sin x dx. That is what cos x by sin x means cot x dx. So integral cot x, what it will be? Log modulus sin x. So when you take f of x is sin x, f dash x is in the numerator. f dash x by f of x, it is looks like f dash x by f of x dx. So what is the formula for f dash x by f of x integral dx? This is log f of x, that is log sin x. So what is this value? This is the value of b. b is equal to log sin x and a is equal to already we obtained minus x. Then what is the particular integral? yp, what it will become? yp is equal to a means minus x into cos x plus b means what? Log sin x into sin x. That is the particular integral equation number 2 or I can see here. You can see here a is equal to minus integral v r dx by u dv by dx minus v du by dx into dx. It is minus sin x into cosecant x dx. Sin into cosecant 1, 1 dx. That means minus x. This is a value. Similarly, b value u r cos into cosecant dx by 1. Cos into cosecant x cot x. Cot x means integration log sin x. Then what is yp? minus x into u of x, v of x into b, b means log sin x. So this is the particular integral uh, of the given problem. Therefore, the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp and that is y is equal to c1 cos x plus c2 sin x minus x cos x plus log sin x. So that is the required solution for the given problem by the method of variation of parameters, right. Similarly, the procedure clear all of you, this is the procedure. So, we will solve this other problem also, so that you will get full idea about this and I will give one uh, 
this uh, example problem also. So just you go through this, apply the method of variation of parameters to solve d square y by dx square plus 4y is equal to tan x. So here also this equation is in the standard form. Here p is 0, q is 4 and r is equal to tan 2x. So d square y by dx, standard form is d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus q y is equal to r of x. So clearly it is in standard form. Then go for the solution of the first part that is complementary function. So before that we write in operator form. So d square y by dx square is d square y plus 4y is equal to tan 2x or d square plus 4 of y is equal to tan 2x or here f of d is d square plus 4. Then what is the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0. So replace d by m that is m square plus 4 is equal to 0. So m square plus 4 0 means m square is equal to minus 4. m is equal to plus or minus 2i. This is 4 into i square. Minus 1 means i square. So m value plus or minus 2i. So the roots are the complex roots. The roots are complex roots. Complex roots means what is the complementary function yc is equal to c1. So what is the notation alpha plus r minus i beta if the roots then yc is equal to e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. This is the general format. The roots are in the form alpha plus r minus i beta then the solution will be e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. So here alpha 0 it is plus or minus 2i 0 plus or minus 2i alpha 0 and beta is equal to 2. So e power 0x that is 1 now c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x I have given directly. This is the complementary function of the given problem. Then what to do? We have to write the particular integral by changing the parameters c1 and c2, new parameters a and b. Then yp will be a cos 2x plus b sin 2x, where a and b can be calculated by the formula a is equal to minus integral vr by du dv by dx minus v into du by dx of dx. Similarly, b can be calculated by the formula ur by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx of dx. Here what is u of x cos 2x, a into u of x plus b into v of x that is sin 2x and r of x the right hand side function that is given in the problem as tan 2x. So all the three functions of x is ready then calculate the denominator value u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. So u cos 2x, dv by dx, sin 2x derivative 2 into cos 2x. So what is the derivative of d by dx of sin ax? a cos ax. Derivative of sin 3x, 3 sin 3x. 3, sin 3x derivative 3 into cos 3x. Sin 4x, 4 into cos 4x like that. So it is 2 cos 2x minus v means sin 2x into the derivative of cos 2x. What is the cos 2x? Negative will come 2 into sin 2x or minus minus plus 2 sin square 2x this term. This term cos square 2x into 2. So on taking out 2 common cos square 2x plus sin square 2x that is 2 into 1 that is equal to 2. So the denominator is ready. This is 2. Now the formula for finding a and b is already given by a is equal to this one. So replace v is equal to what is v? a is equal to minus integral v means sin 2x and r means what? tan 2x dx by the denominator is 2. So I will show you here a value sin 2x into tan 2x dx by 2 with minus sign. So 1 by 2 take outside minus sin square 2x by this is sine by cos. Tan 2x means sine 2x by cos 2x. So sine 2x into sine 2x, sine square 2x by cos 2x, 2 right 
outside and minus also here. So minus 1 by 2 minus take outside sin square x, sin square x you can write it as 1 minus cos square x. So here sin square 2x, so 1 minus cos square 2x by cos 2x dx. On splitting 1 by cos 2x, secant 2x first term. Then cos square 2x by cos 2x, that is cos 2x dx. So what is integral secant 2x? That is log secant 2x plus tan 2x by 2. That is the integral secant 2x, minus 1 by 2 as it is, just copy down. And cos 2x integration, sin 2x by 2. Integral cos bx dx, that is sin bx by b. In differentiation, it will be multiple. In integration, it will be the divisible by b, uh, divide by b. So, cos 2x sin 2x by 2. So, on simplifying, it is minus log secant 2x plus tan 2x by 4 plus sin 2x by 4. Similarly, find the value of b. So, b is equal to integral u r dx by this one. Or u is cos 2x into tan 2x dx by 2. So, cos 2x into tan 2x means sin 2x by cos 2x. These two cancel. So, so it is sin 2x dx by 2. Sin 2x integration minus cos 2x by 2. Already 2 is there. So, minus cos 2x by 4. Therefore, the particular integral is given by yp is equal to minus of. So, this is a value u of x plus b value minus cos 2x by 4 into v of x. a into u of x plus b into v of x. Therefore, the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp. That is both the, write the two values. So, c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus right entire term. That will be the final solution of the given. Right. So, in adding all these, it is the required solution of the given problem. Very easy method and also the number of times uh, given in the examinations. So, if they apply, if they ask to apply the method of variation of parameters, you have to apply this method only. Otherwise, you can use the general method also. But here, we should not uh, use uh, the general method. We should apply the method which is uh, uh, name, named named method, method of variation of parameters, right. So, last example, we solve this problem and we left, right. So, the given equation d square y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus 2 y is equal to x square. So, it is looking like d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y is equal to r of x. So, what is p here? 3. And what is q? It is 2. And what is r of x? x square. So, it is in standard form. The given equation is in standard form. d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus qy is equal to r. Now, consider f of d. What is operator form d square plus 3d plus 2 of y is equal to x square? The f of d is d square plus 3d plus 2 and the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 that is m square plus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. So, what are the roots m square plus 2m plus m plus 2 0 or m into m plus 2 plus 1 into m plus 2 is equal to 0. That is m plus 1 into m plus 2 is equal to 0. The values of m are minus 1 comma minus 2. Then what is the complementary function or yc is equal to c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 2x. The complementary function yc is c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 2x. So, now take yp or pi is equal to a into u of x 
plus b into v of x. What is u of x? You have to assume e power minus x. What is v of x? e power minus 2x. And what is r of x? That is x square. So u of x is minus e power minus x and v of x. I will write here take u of x is equal to e power minus x, v of x e power minus 2x and r of x is equal to x square. Then the values a and b can be calculated by using the formulas. What is formula a is equal to minus integral v r dx by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. And the formula of v is integral u r dx by u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. So before applying this, we find the denominator also ready immediately, we can substitute. Now consider u dv by dx minus v into du by dx. What is u here? e power minus x dv by dx on differentiating you will get minus 2 into e power minus 2. This is looks e power ax, a into e power ax, minus 2 into e power minus 2x, minus v, v means e power minus 2x, and du by dx minus e power minus x. So minus 2 into e power minus 3x plus e power minus 3x, minus 2x that is minus e power minus 3x is the denominator value. See this e power minus x minus 2 into e power minus 2x minus e power minus 2x and v of x sorry du by dx. du by dx means minus e power minus x. So e power minus x into e power minus 2x. e power minus x minus 2x e power minus 3x because bases are equal. So this is minus e power minus 3x. Then apply in the formula of a and b this value. Now a is equal to minus integral v means e power minus 2x v. r means x square by e power minus 3x dx. So what will get integral? e power minus 3x on writing in numerator it is e power x into x square dx. So it is integral u dv format. What is the integration? U V, U V1 minus U dash V2 like that. So X square U V1 minus U dash V2 plus U double dash into V3. That is the integration of this one. Minus E power X into X square. U under this one and DV is this one. So U V1, the different integration minus u dash x square derivative of 2x into e power x and plus the 2x derivative of 2 into e power x. In this way you can calculate a value. Similarly, or you can write e power x outside. e power x on writing outside minus e power x x square minus 2x plus 2. This is a value. Similarly, find b value. Formula integral u r. u means what? u means what e power minus x. r is x square by the denominator e power minus 3x. Am I right? Minus e power minus also there. Huh? Minus also there. So it will be plus. Minus also there. This will be plus. Plus. The formula is plus of this one. And here e power minus 3x with minus sign. It is e power minus 3x. So it is minus integral e power plus 3x on writing in numerator. It is e power 2x into x y dx. So what it will be integral minus integral x square into e power 2x dx minus what is the integration? x square e power 2x by 2 u v1 u dash v2 means by 4 plus 2 into e power 2x by 8. So, uh, e power 2x on taking outside 
minus x square by 2 plus 2x by 4. 2x by 4 means x by 2 plus 2 by 8 that is 1 by 4. This is the b value. Therefore, the yp is equal to a into u of x plus b into v of x. On substituting, you will get yp. Therefore, the general solution the general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp. Here a and b are available. This is a value this is and d is that is then the solution will be like this. So, with these uh, few uh, problems uh, for method of variation of parameters, uh, I conclude my session. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.